Okay. Um, the next one is uh, 311, right? Yep. All right. So here's, this is kind of an interesting one, and this is one that should be familiar to, to all of us here. Uh, and most of us would, would have a ready answer to this sure. one, right? Sure, yeah. The question here is, how did David kill Goliath, right? So think about that. How did David kill Goliath, right? Well, notice in First Samuel 17 and following, it says that David killed Goliath without a sword. But in 1 Samuel, later on in the in the uh, chapter, of just a verse or two later, it says that, it says that David killed, uh, that David did so with a sword. So, how did David kill Goliath? Right. Well, and I was just reading my daughter, the story of David and Goliath, and it ended at, and he picked up a stone and threw it at Goliath, and that killed Goliath. And I had to go, wait, I read something about this. <laughs> yeah. And it was actually, right, it's, it's. I mean, we're we're in the same chapter. We're a verse later, and, yeah, so and this is an us. odd odd thing. So starting yeah. in verse forty nine, it's the familiar story that we kind of all know is that David put his hand in the bag, took out a stone, slung it at the Philistine on his forehead. The stone sank into his forehead, and he fell on his face to the ground. So David prevailed over the Philistine. So again, uh, this is verse fifty. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone, and struck the Philistine and killed him. There was no sword in the hand of David because why? Because he was because um, he had uh, stones he, and a sling, he, he, <laughs> but and Saul even tried to give him his own, you know, Armor shield and, and his sword, yeah, and it yeah. was just too heavy for you know this. Yeah, that's you know, not what he was kid. used to, right? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll yeah. fight in my own way and he, not your yeah, he, clunky he, stuff. He right? killed a a lion and a bear and saved the sheep just from from his sling. Uh, so there was no sword that he had, but th- then David ran and stood over the Philistine, took his sword, drew it out of its sheath, killed him, and cut off his head with it. When the Philistines saw the champion was dead, they fled. In fact, um, uh, I, I forget where else it talks about, but um, the the sword actually is is hung up in David's house, and it's kind of a yeah. a, a well known conversational piece that David <laughs> has when he when he has people over. Right. So, so technically, we would say, in fact, what the scriptures seem to indicate is that he put Saul, he put uh, Goliath down with the with the mm-hmm. stone, right? With the, but then the the cutting off of his yeah. head was when we say he was he killed him. Right? If if you were being fair, you could ask this question and say, well, it seems like in verse fifty it says it struck him and he killed him. Uh, where then a verse later it talks about him cutting off his head with a sword. Uh, but I, I I don't honestly think that this list of questions is being uh, uh, generous with wanting uh, the answers that uh, that's there. But it's it's uh, this pause in verse 50 that says, So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone and struck the Philistine and killed him. It's kind of a, a, a new thought to kind of summarize what the what the, the the events took place in summary and then adds um, at the very end you know h- how the final uh, death knell came right, to Goliath right. so he, he hit him with the stone and he went to the ground that's what verse 249 says mm-hmm. right and then verse 50 then is a summary of everything that happened right he hit right. him with a stone and struck him and he killed him and then the rest of verse 50 and verse uh, 51 explains how he killed him. He killed him once he put him down with the sword. Mm-hmm. Right. It would be like pausing in a story and say, uh, oh, so uh, uh, David slung the rock and that's all that killed him. Well, let me tell you the rest of it. He actually picked up a sword because he didn't have one and, and cut off his head. Right. So right. it's kind of a, 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 a pause within the story and then. Uh, the summary. Right. So Lyle suggests that to say that this is a contradiction is specious uh, reasoning, right? And he says the order in which events are mentioned is not necessarily the order in which they occur, Mm -hmm. right? And so that's why we see this distinction here between 50 and 51. Right. Right. And also let's stop uh, equating us with David and our problems with Goliath. And let's understand that David is a precursor to Christ, and we need to stop writing books about how we have to slay our giants in our life. Let's <laughs> let's just stop with. There's way too many of them, and they're all awful. <laughs> yeah, and and we have a problem. Uh, do we pick up stones or do we pick up swords? Right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah.